Jesus says, Help me building my kingdom on earth. March 11, 2017 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began My brides, this is a season of learning the essentials in serving me. Many of you are very ambitious as far as how you can stretch your day, your energy, your time. You expect too much of yourselves and end up exhausted, frustrated and unable to serve me in the more important matters. I would like to call you to accountability with your time. I would like you to consider what you accomplish for me and what you have done strictly for yourself. For instance, projects to beautify your space can become very self-serving and cause you to become more involved in yourself, your vanities and the world. Then you are chasing your tail because enough is never enough. Rather, I want you to be chasing me and my needs during the day. Yes, beloved, tell my people and lay it to heart yourself as well. This is the time for building up my kingdom. This is the time for new beginnings that will open the floodgates of heaven. But if you do not lay it to heart, if you roam about in your own will, there will be tragedy and sadness. I am not threatening you. I am merely saying, work now while you have the strength, the light and the inspiration. Do not waste your energies on your own nest. Rather, be about my business, helping me with my kingdom on earth. The great temptation here is to spend these precious graces on trivia, spring cleaning, organizing, etc., etc. Do only what is essential. Hand on to others what others can do and free yourselves up for me. Those of you who have the resources to have someone clean and cook for you, by all means use them. Give as much as you can of the mundane tasks over to others and come into your prayer closet with me for times of refreshing, restoration and direction. You will be met by great opposition, using your compulsive, addictive nature to join in the move to deep clean your houses in spring all the things that hit you in the spring. I'm asking you to beware of the wiles of the devil, to sidetrack you. For several years now that I have been with you through this very frail vessel, you have observed how easily she is thrown off track and that you too have been derailed. I'm telling you, my people, most seriously, you must resist the temptation to do these things. I will let you know the season for doing this if it becomes necessary. But now is not that season. Now is the time to get into the ocean current of building up my kingdom and flowing in my spirit to my destination while you still have the light of day to work by. Many of you have taken these messages to heart and applied yourselves to new directions. You have already abandoned those things that did not contribute to my kingdom. For you, this is just a heads up to avoid being derailed by the enemy. Yes, that is another dimension. 
things will be thrown at you from left field. Take my hand and walk upon the waters to, to a safe destination and the fulfillment of our dreams. Do not allow threats to dampen your joy as you are moving forward. There will be many, but as long as I'm guiding you and you are following, I will lead you right through their midst and back into the work I have ordained for you. Just keep your eyes open so you will see it coming. Do not allow yourselves to be side-blinded. Nothing is happening to you that I did not give permission for, that I did not see coming, that I do not have a provision for delivering you out of the hands of evil. Yes, I am pleased, very pleased indeed with your tender hearts for the poor, that you love indeed, not just in word that you follow through on your assignments from me, especially prayer, and whatever I give you to promote the kingdom, that you are faithful in supporting this ministry with your prayers, which make a world of difference for Claire every day. I am with you to rebuild my house. Go now in peace, and know that the very power of God is infusing, guiding, and equipping you to do my will. Do not shrink back from any challenge. There is nothing we cannot accomplish. Do not be intimidated, for greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. Keep this message before you, beloved, and continue on to the goal of the high calling in my anointing.